but then like one of my dreams is to go to MIT for university so obviously the only thing you want to start like after you complete I, I, I assume that it's some now and like work and habit towards getting those goals done like it is possible even though it seems really really hard right now you'll get there and at the end you'll be really really proud of yourself thank you so much Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm great. Uh, can you please introduce yourself to my viewers at home? Um, my name is Neo. I'm a grade 12 learner and I'm just here for a maths competition. At Vets? Yes, here at What is the competition about? Um, it's the South African Team Maths competition. So the top mathematics students like from grade 8 to 12 in Gauteng, like all come here and then write a paper and then the different provinces compete against each other. Mm. Wow. So you are good in mathematics. <laughs> yes. What is your strategy in mathematics? Though? Mm -hmm. My strategy is, well, first of all, I've always really liked mathematics. But then I think the way how I study is I study by learning from my mistakes. So I do a lot of practice. And then if I get something wrong, I'll try to figure out why I got it wrong instead of just looking at the right answer and then try it again and again until I get the right answer. And then that way I remember like the sort of mistakes that I tend to make so then I know how to avoid those as well. And then I just also like to participate in random mathematics competitions too. <gasps> mathematics competition. Ah! So I, I see you wearing a white bla uh, blazer. It shows <laughs> academic excellence. So you are one of the top achievers or you are the top achiever at your school. <laughs> yes. Like how do you attain that? How do you discipline yourself? As a current grade 12 learner there are grade 12 learners watching us in the country now but how do you discipline yourself such? i have a really big dream to not so much to just do well in matric but then like one of my dreams is to go to mit for university so obviously the only way that i can do that is if i were to get a scholarship right hmm. so like what i try to do is i try not to focus on just oh get marks and do well in high school i try to like set up goals for myself that i really really want to achieve and then just like trying to do well academically is one of the paths to that goal so like to be honest like performing well just at a matric level like after matric, you go to university, no one asks for your matric results ever again. So it can be like really, really easy to feel demotivated and to just pass and like not try to like do well. But then when you have like an extra goal that like tries to push you further, then that really helps. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. So any advice on, uh, I hear that you set other goals for yourself, not just achieving well. But how do you schedule your studying? Uh, how many hours do you sleep if you if you do sleep you know and all of that like how how is your day like as a metric learner who's currently doing well mm, I think so it's really important to rest after school so don't just get straight into studying because then you really won't be able to study effectively so say I finish school at 2.30 I'll take like a two hour break and then I'll start doing homework and then I'll take another break for dinner and then I'll just work. So I just work as much as I can. I try not to push myself past my limit because then like it's really easy to get burnt out if you're always like working so hard that now you're losing on sleep. Now you're like tired all the time. So just like having a good relationship between studying and then also spending time with yourself is important. And I think it's really important to like try to limit distractions as much as you can so having friends that instead of like want to take you out and do random things to distract you from your schoolwork having friends who like also study so you study together like that's really effective because it makes sure that you all like try to make sure that everyone's like doing what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it like my roommate she's really really dedicated so then that also inspires me to be like okay it's time to put down like the TikTok or whatever I'm on, it's time to focus on the books now. Oh, beauty, distractions. Wow, that's very important. Okay, getting enough rest, work as much as you can, and limit distraction. That's your advice for the day. What's your future prospect? What do you want to start like after you complete? 
I, I, I assume that it's something that is related to mathematics, though, right? <laughs> yes. Or you want to be a doctor? I don't know. But okay, what, what's your future prospect? What do you want to study? Mm, I really want to study applied mathematics. Well, applied and computational mathematics, and then I want to become a computational scientist. Okay. Wow. Well, why? Why? Because oh. of love of math, or what, what's like? What do you get that information about? Uh, I see you also want to go to MIT, <laughs> Massachusetts Institute of, uh, in the US, guys. Okay. Um, I think it's partially love of maths. It's also like love of physics. Mm. And then I also do IT, which I really enjoy the coding aspect of. Mm. So I found computational science to incorporate all of the things I really, really am passionate about. But then I'm also a very picky person. Like, so there are a lot of other courses that also use maths and science and IT. I don't really want to like build things for example, I just want to solve problems like in my little office like according to my own ways and doing something like computational science, like it works with the work lifestyle that I imagine myself having. Okay. Oh, I wish you all the best with your... With your studies in uh, com uh, in computational and grade 12, right? What advice do you have for your mates? So then we are closing. Like the advice that you have for your current uh, grade 12 mates, you know, so that you can keep pushing together because you are together. In this too. I think grade 12 is really, really hard. There's a lot of effort that you have to put into it, and sometimes it does get really tiring. And it's just important to be kind to yourself. So don't push yourself so far that you burn out, but then remember like the goals that you wanted to achieve, the reason why you're in high school in the first place, to get an education, to make it to tertiary, and then like live the life that you want like through getting that qualification. So keep your eyes on the like main goal and just try to build a like a healthy lifestyle and like working habit towards getting those goals done. Like it is possible. Even though it seems really, really hard right now, you'll get there. And at the end, you'll be really, really proud of yourself. Thank you so much.